What up Guardians? Awesome Nerd Show here today and we're going to be doing some reviews of some Destiny items. Uh, first up we've got the Big Shot Toy Works, Ana Bray and Nocris, and the Destiny Cade 6 box from GameStop. First up we'll start with Ana Bray, which she is a member of the House of Bray. She was adopted by the Brays. She lives on Mars and she was one of the founding members of Rasputin. She helped with the AI on the system. And she was hoping that Rasputin would help humanity fight off the darkness. So in review of the figure, we've got a detachable base, which all of the big shot toy figures do have. Next up on the character, we do have the Polaris Lance Scout Rifle that was formed by the Bray Corporation. If we look at her attire that she's wearing, it is hunter-esque because she is a hunter. Her favorite super is the golden gun. And then here on her shoulder pad and on the cloak, we do have the House of Bray logo, which is a wolf head. Next up, we have the Ice Thrall, which yet again has the detachable base here. And the cool thing about these Ice Thralls is that they are found on Mars, which is where the Bay Bray Corporation is located. And... I like the design of them because they have like this frozen ice pattern all over them so they differ from the regular thralls that we deal with in the game. So now that we've got Nocris out of the box, let's go over some quick facts. This is the son of Oryx and the younger brother of Crota. And he is the Herald Tazal, which is one of the worm gods in the Destiny lore. So first up, he does not have a base, which is weird because most of the figures do. The only other one that didn't have a base was Gaul, which is weird because they're kind of the main villains for their stories from the game, but they don't have bases. Um, one other thing that I find really interesting about this figure is the hood on Nocris does come off, which I've never seen removable parts from any of the other figures. I do like that his... Three eyes are like a neon green, so they kind of stand out to the rest of the face there, which is all like a bone structure design. Uh, he's got his tunic and cowl that just kind of go all the way around, and they're in like a flowy design pattern, so they're not just stagnant. And that's about it. And now we're going to unbox the Cade 6 gaming box from GameStop. As you can see on the side here, it already shows the items that are in it, but we'll open it up and go through them one by one. As you can see right from the get-go, we do have a mug right here. It is the spicy ramen mug. So here is the mug out of the box, standard black mug. It does have the Destiny 2 logo on the back of there. On the front here, we do have the spicy ramen logo from the game. It's for Cade's favorite shop, the spicy ramen shop. And as you can see in the center here, it does have the Destiny logo. Pretty nice mug overall, but we really have no purpose for mugs. Let's see what's next under this black paper that we have here. It looks like they've got it all taped together. Alright, so our next item is the Spicy Ramen Tiny Tin. Alright, so now that we've got the wrap off of it, we can see yet again it's got the Spicy Ramen Noodle Shop logo on the front. On the back of it, it does have the exact same logo. It's got a movable handle. The clasp does work on it and you can open it up and I mean it's not that big so I don't know what you'd store in it. Maybe if you got the uh, nice version of Destiny 2 with the playing cards you could possibly store the playing cards in there. But other than that I mean it's not going to hold much. Next up uh, we've got the ghost shell just the generic Peter Dinklage ghost shell from the beginning of the game. So here it is out of the box. As you can see, it's just the generic ghost shell that you start off in with in Destiny 1. Uh, it does have a base that it stands on, and we have done other videos. I think we did the kill tracker and this ghost shell in those videos also. Next up, we have the... Oh, it's the Cade 6, essentially a chibi figure. Uh, it's a magnet, so I mean, there's not really much to it. It's just Cade giving the thumbs up. Probably the last we'll ever see a Cade. Next up, it looks like... Okay, so this is the card that has the code on the back of it for the in-game emblem, which if you can see down here in the bottom, is here on the box. Next in the box, we do have our Eyes Up Guardian bumper sticker. Next up... We have the Earth Velcro patch. Now, this is found on Cade's armor. I believe it's on his left shoulder that you can find this 
uh, patch. It's cool because it's just the uh, soft side of the Velcro, so anything that has the like grip side of the Velcro, you can stick this to. And it's really cool because Kate is one of my favorite characters, so you know people who do play Destiny should know this logo, but other people won't think much about it. And now it's time for the last item from the box, which is the one I'm most leery about, but also most excited about. It is the Cade 6 Journal. The reason I say I am leery about this is because there wasn't much specification on GameStop's website about this. It does say Cade 6 Journal, and I was kind of hoping that this was going to be a journal, you know, that Cade 6 had written because there is a bunch of lore that backs up, like, Cade's life and stuff and what he knows from his sixth reboot. But my fear is it's just going to be a blank journal, so that's why I'm excited but fearful at the same time. So let's open it up and see what we got. Yeah, it's it's just a blank journal. So that's kind of a letdown for me. I was really hoping this was going to be just like his journalings of what he remembers. Maybe some of his past reboots or even his lifetime during his human self. Um, I do like this photo work though. It does look like it's done from Nessus. You can see the Ace of Spades, which was named after his son. One of the things he does remember from his time as a human. Let's see what we got on the back here. Oh, it's just some random pattering and some more of the Nessus scenery. So, on the spine here though, move the box out of the way real quick. On the spine here though, as you can see, this is the pattern that is on his cloak, so that's that's kind of cool too. Like I said, it's okay, but it's disappointing that it's just a journal that you can write in. So that's everything that we were going to review today, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.